Hi, everybody. My name is Eli. I'm Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. We're the Everyone on the Tour YouTube channel. And we are going in and through Revelations. And who are we, Caden? We're the people that believe that the laws of commands are for all generations, that they were not in the way with, that we should be keeping them, and that we should be living by them and using them as our daily life's guide. Yep. And who's the Messiah? He is the son of Yahuwah. His name is Yahushua, not Jesus, because no Jesus in Hebrew, as a pagan name. Okay. Now we are into Revelation 20. And um, it's been an interesting read, so let us continue. And I saw a messenger coming down from the Shamayim, having the key to the pit of the deep and a great chain in his hand. So are we going back to chapter 9 now? Yeah, well, he's going to, he has the key to the pit and yeah. the great chain in his hand. And he seized the dragon, the serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he threw him into the pit of the deep and shut him up and put a seal on him. So that he should lead should lead the nations no more astray until a thousand years were ended, and after that he has to be released for a little while. So, what do you guys make of this? Um, so he's locked away because he's like pretty much get peace on earth. He pretty much get peace time. I don't think there's any peace. Well, I, mean, I don't he think can't I don't, lead the nations astray. I don't think any. Yeah, well, I don't think there's any peace. I think after, just because Satan's gone, it doesn't mean anything. I think the rest of the world is completely wicked and wild and woolly. So I think a thousand year reign, there will be a set apart people, but I think the rest of the world is completely wild, wicked, and going crazy. So just because Hasatan is locked up, it doesn't stop all the other devils and demons that are going at it. So they're, they're going to be going at it until the end. <clears throat> Three, four. And I saw, and I saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment was given to them. And the lives of those who had been beheaded because of the witness they bore to Yahushua, and because of the word of Yahuwah, and who did not worship the beast, nor his image, and did not receive his mark upon their foreheads or upon their hands. And they lived and reigned with Mashiach for a thousand years. Okay, so um, probably so, hanging out at Mount Zion is my guess. Yeah, back in New Jerusalem? Yep. So um, So why are they beheaded? Well, everybody, that was because they were beheaded because of the word of Yah. Everybody who was on earth, right? Is that what your question? Yeah, but like... Uh, where does it apply to us? Was this, is this futuristic stuff? Is this stuff that's this is all absolutely futuristic. I mean, this is after all the vials. Everything is opened up. Um, this is all towards the very end. This is after all the plagues, all the other stuff. Um, then comes Satan gets locked away, and then he's about to get out. Okay, seven. And when the thousand years have ended, Satan shall be released from his prison. And he shall go out to lead the nations astray, which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together for battle, whose number is as the sand, as the sand of the sea. Do we know which countries Gog and Magog are? Um, in there's day? zillions of people that are that are over there. I mean, they, people have talked about it forever, and I, I don't know exactly who they are today, um, but they're talked about quite a bit. And they came up over the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of the Kadeshim and the beloved city. And fire came down from Elohim out of the Shimeim consumed them. So this is talking about, sorry, my dog is like making a lot of noise. Eli, will you please take care of the dog? Um, this is talking about the, these people surrounded the beloved city, right? And so that would be New Jerusalem, right? And um, all of these people of the earth, all the bad people, right? When you're talking about peace, there is no peace. Or Jade was talking about peace. There is no peace, right? The, the rest of the world is still chaotic. You don't have, all of a sudden, just because Satan got bound, you don't have, all of a sudden, everybody became Torah keepers. In fact, everybody is even far worse than that, I would imagine. <clears throat> okay. Um, so fire came down from Elohim out of the Shammai and consumed them. That was everybody who was going against everybody at the, the city. Ten, and the devil who led them astray was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur, where the beast and false prophet are, and they shall be tortured day and night forever. Okay. Um, There's just forever and ever. It, it says forever and ever. Right. There's just not. You just said forever and ever. And ever. Oh, forever and ever. Okay, and um, so everybody's going into the lake of fire. Eleven. And I saw a great white throne, and him who was sitting on it, from whose face the face the earth and the shamayim fled away, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before the throne. And books were open. And another book was open, which is Kai, which is life for anyone who doesn't know that. And the dead were judged from what was written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead who were in it. 
and death and the grave gave up the dead who were in them, and they were judged, each one according to his works. And the death and the grave were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And if anyone was not found written in the book of Kai, he was thrown into the lake of fire. So is death and the grave a kind of spirit, or is it like a metaphor, or...? Um, well, you have two deaths, right? You have a physical death and you have a spiritual death. Right. So is death a spirit? Is it a spirit of death? Or? Well, you have a soul that can die. And so right. I, I don't know. Death is thrown into the lake. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think it's just the, the possibility of the, the second death of a spiritual death. Um, and the death and the grave were thrown into the lake of fire. I think that, I think we're talking, this is, and it says this is the second death. So it's talking a, not the physical death, but it is talking the spiritual death of losing our soul. Right of that is that is where we do not want to go. All of us are going to have a death. All of us have to face death. All of us have to have that final moment of our last breath, of our last moments, um, whenever that is. But when we go to the second place or the second death, or we have basically a, the option of our soul either living or dying, if you are not keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of our Creator, then you would not be qualified as somebody who's written in the Book of Life. People who are written in the book of life, it's not a, you, you accept Jesus the Christ and that's it. This, it's, it's the beginning of it. You have to understand that our Messiah, Yahushua, is the king. He is the, the blood-bought sacrifice that became our Melchizedek priest, and he'll also be our king. That is the faith of Messiah Yahushua. But then there are the laws, statutes, and commandments that we need to keep, which are in Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And if we do not keep those, then we are not qualified to make the kingdom. We are not qualified to hang out with Messiah. The people that are hanging out with our Messiah are not a bunch of rebel, renegade sinners that are living in sin and thinking they can, they can just ask our, our Messiah for forgiveness and that's okay. We are told to live different ways. We are told to live a different function. We are not to eat pork. We are not to worship on a Sunday. We are, we are to keep the 170 some laws that we can possibly keep every single one of them as close as we possibly can. And when we break those laws, we need to be broken. We need to be busted. Our, our hearts should be just breaking because we have done something that is going to upset our creator and we have to, we're going to get judged for it and there will be judgment for everything. We can't just do bad and not be judged. There will be judgment come later or come now, but it will come from our creator. And so we can't do things that are evil and expect to have good things happen to us. All right. Anyone else have anything on this? Uh, no, tonight is the Ecclesia. Yep. Tonight is the Ecclesia. Yeah, willing. Um, hopefully we're not too burnt out after all the reading and all the stuff we're doing today. So we will try to get there live with you guys. Uh, again, yeah, willing. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys very, very much. All right. All right. Shalom. Shalom.